Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be uh, studying about the clustered system. In the previous video we saw what multiprocess systems were. So we saw that multiprocess systems are called the tightly coupled systems because uh, each uh, multiprocess system has a single computer and within that computer there are multiple processes. So all those uh, multiple processes are said to be tightly coupled. But in case of clustered system, we can consider a clustered system as a loosely coupled system. So a loosely coupled system in a sense, uh, in case of multiprocessor system, uh, the multiple processors which were present inside a single computer, they used to share the memory. And uh, all the peripheral devices and the memory uh, were shared by all the multiple processors which were present inside the system. But in case of a clustered system, it is a loosely coupled system. So what do you mean by loosely coupled system? Uh, a loosely coupled system, it has uh, uh, multiple computers and I mean to say that uh, it has multiple processors and each of those multiple computers or each computer has its own uh, processor which can be a single processor or it can be multiple processors. So we have a large number of uh, computers and each of those computers can be single, uh, they can have a single processor or they can have multiple processors. So, and uh, the difference between the multiple processors or multiprocessor system and clustered system is that each, each unit in a clustered system, it has its own memory and the peripheral devices. But in case of multiprocessor system, all the multiple processors, they used to uh, share the memory and the peripheral devices. But in this case, each unit has its own uh, memory and uh, the peripheral devices and uh, each unit of a clustered system it is called a node so a node is a unit of the uh, clustered system and all these nodes they are uh, looked after by a server these nodes are also called clients and uh, this is a server so basically a, cl so a clustered system is uh, like a server client type of system where uh, there is a server and there is there are these clients these clients can be uh, they can be tightly coupled or loosely coupled these clients that in a sense they can have a single processor or multiple processors the the main thing to note here is that they have their own memory and uh, uh, peripheral devices attached to them now coming to the types of uh, clustered system similar to multiprocessor system uh, we also have two types in uh, clustered system so the two types in clustered system, one is uh, the asymmetric clustering and the second type is called the symmetric clustering. In case of asymmetric clustering, uh, all these nodes are connected to the server and we have two servers in this case. And uh, the two servers, S1 and S2, in, uh, among these two servers, one server, it keeps on uh, uh, providing services to the clients and the second server, it is set to be in a hot standby mode. That is, it keeps a watch on this uh, server. So this server keeps a watch on this server. And whenever this server fails, this server takes the place of this server and becomes the active server. And it carries on the activities which were performed by this server. That is how the asymmetric clustering works. Now coming to symmetric clustering, uh, in case of symmetric clustering, we again have two uh, servers. And uh, in this case, both the servers, they look after each other and both the servers provide all the services to these uh, clients. That is how uh, symmetric and asymmetric clustering differs. Now uh, there is a concept called parallelization which can be seen in clustering. So what is parallelization? Parallelization it is a concept wherein we have say a program. So a program it is a divided. So we divide this program and each piece of that program it is uh, supplied to the uh, nodes. So each node has a piece of that program and uh, each node performs a part of that program and the results from each of those nodes. So each of these nodes perform a part of the program and each of those uh, results which are uh, uh, computed by each of those nodes, all those results are then sent back to this and uh, the results are combined to get the actual final result. That is how uh, parallelization uh, works. So parallelization, it helps in uh, reducing the time which is taken to perform a particular program. That is, uh, since we are dividing this program into multiple parts and all those parts are being performed simultaneously by all these um, nodes, 
we can say that the overall time which is required to perform the program decreases and uh, it helps in parallel computing. So that is uh, the main advantage of clustering or clustered systems. So that's it for this video. In the next video we are going to be uh, dealing with two topics. One is uh, multi-processing and the second is multi-tasking or time-sharing system.